Today we're going to show you how to make a smoothie bowl. Last summer my friend and I were doing an acai smoothie bowl tour and we went to every single, well tried to go to every single smoothie bowl place in town and we've tried a whole bunch of different recipes, different flavors, different mixes and you know sometimes it gets a little too expensive. I mean each dollar, um, each bowl was probably about 12 to 15 dollars and like as a student we just don't have the money for this all the time and it's so good but it's just too much. So we decided to try and like research different recipes, different ingredients to make and mimic these acai smoothie bowls that we see on Instagram with all those cute little designs and you know it's all about the Instagram. So I'm going to show you how to make this smoothie bowl that's super good, super easy for breakfast and you can also put it on your Instagram to show off how cute and healthy you are. So first you're going to need this acai puree organic mix, they're frozen, you can just buy them in the packages, I bought them in a package of four for probably seven bucks so that's already something you can make and actually usually I split these into two so you can make two smoothie bowls with this one package so you're already saving there next you'll need a banana and you'll need I usually get this four mix berry blend just with some blackberries, strawberries, blueberries and some raspberries so you've got that honey to drizzle Coconut flakes, optional, but I love them, so definitely add them in, they're really good. Granola, I'm super lazy and didn't make my own granola, so this is just as good, Nature Valley honey, oats and honey. And some fresh berries to top on top, because it's all about the aesthetic. So, I have my Ninja, a little self-serving portion cup, and what you're gonna do is put in a full banana. You want a full banana in there. The banana's optional. Just adds the flavor. So just put the whole banana in there. A full banana is what the recipe requires. And you're gonna want a couple spoonfuls of the mixed berries. This is my favorite mix of berries. You can also put like frozen mangoes. Honestly, tailor it to your own like because that's what matters. You can put frozen mangoes, frozen pineapple. I just love, love berries. It just makes sense that I would put berries in. A couple spoonfuls of that and then you'll just put this little pouch in so once you got that in there I'm telling you this recipe is super easy you can literally do it in your sleep blindfolded once you've got your banana your berries and your acai mix in there just close it up. I personally don't love it, but you can also add flax seeds, chia seeds, any type of extra mixins you want to put in. And just close the lid and we're gonna blend. <laughs> And now it's time for the most exciting part, my favorite part of all of the smoothie bowls, is the decorating. So once you have this, you're ready to garnish and pretend like you are a chef. I put some blackberries in there. So just throw them all. And I decide to get some strawberries. Now again, all these toppings are totally up to you. And you can pick whatever you'd like, just whatever you feel is right. Top those in there. Put the banana. I honestly only need half a banana for this. Honestly, my friend and I discovered this SIE pack, uh, frozen puree pack, uh, a couple months ago and it literally changed our lives because I think we were going to Cali Love probably it's like twice a month and like that's really expensive so this one pretty much tastes exactly like Cali Love if not maybe a little better just because you made it yourself you know everything tastes better when you make it yourself 
sometimes. Then we got our granola. Pour on our granola like that. And these sweetened flakes of coconut. Pour that to the side. Now I like to layer mine so like the fruits are in different layers. Kind of like a lasagna, but not really like lasagna. So this is what you've got so far. Pretty much a Instagram worthy post. And my favorite secret ingredient, which is totally optional again, would be the honey. So I just drizzled on top like this. And there you have it. A smoothie bowl that is super quick and easy to make, super affordable, and I think you could probably make in this whole package a good four to six smoothie bowls on your own. And you don't have to spend $12 on each smoothie bowl. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this quick little recipe on how to make a quick, easy, affordable smoothie bowl.